people of the purple butterfly here otherwise known as people of seven on twitter and youtube people are elsewhere on the internet my blog is located purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com and my soaps purple butterfly soaps can be located people dot etsy dot com and my wig cap with stress lace is now complete and the only thing that needs to be done now is to mark it where my ears are and you know other details like my gray streak so forth and so on and yeah try it on too but yeah so I figure take you with me while I do that so here we go And I got a cap on that's very light, so that way I can see all of my features straight through it. That's a real good fit. Okay, now the only thing I need is a box of crayons. Brown. Because what I'm going to do is trace my hairline and my widow's peak so that way when I ventilate it I don't have to worry about oh did I get it in the right spot so forth and so on so as you can tell that shows up and with it being crayon, the first wash, it'll go away, but the hair will still be there because it'll be ventilated down. So, I'm going to do that. This is just plain old everyday crayon, but it does the job. I got this down too far. It is literally going in my eye. But... I can see, especially uh, when I use that other light, directly through the wig cap and put this on and I could draw where my hairline is, where my gray streak is. That way when I ventilate the wig, I can add the gray streak or some hair of a lighter color to emulate where my gray streak is. I can go directly around my ear where the hair actually starts not where you know most wig caps have you putting it right here my hair actually starts a half inch above my ear so why put you know hair where you don't have it if you're emulating your exact hair like so that's why I have it like that another good thing when I do this because of the way I made it the ear is like in a tap tap here and a tap here because it's made with two separate pieces so then when I make a straight line going around my ear I know where to cut it and then the extra material goes away so yeah that has worked in the pass on a wig I made, the Lakea wig, look back a couple of, well, quite a few videos. And it worked when I did my um, closure video, but I was just making a closure there. But still, I knew exactly where to be thin, where to be thick, where to add a different color, so forth and so on. And the hairstyle that I braided down is a little bit... Um, it was a little bit thicker than this so at least with the stretch lace I have a lot of room so that way when my hair is braided really tight or when it's braided looser I still got you know wiggle room but anyway that's what I'm doing today so I'm going to anchor this down trace it around so forth so on and let you see the finished product in the thumbnail Y'all stay blessed and stay tuned. Bye now. This has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube. People are elsewhere on the internet. My